Okay, it was so hot mm. in the jail. Yeah. Our skin was so sweaty. Mm. When we scratched ourselves, mm. clumps of our skin came off under our nails. Oh, blimey. Yeah. There was dead rats in the food. Oh. We would complain to the guards about the dead rats. Yeah. And then they would come back and they would tell us they were just potatoes so that the jail wouldn't get in any trouble. Mm. Not only were the guards murdering the inmates, mm. I mean the gang members such as the Orion Brotherhood murdering, were murdering the inmates as well as the guards. Mm. And the guards that were murdering the inmates, mm. the sheriff, the boss of the jail promoted them. Mm. And all this is in my book, mm. Hard Time. Mm. Yeah. And that's, we're going to be doing the book signing tomorrow here in Guildford. Oh, I see. Yeah. So if you are in town and you want to stop by, my mum would, would love, really love to meet you. Yeah. I've been telling her all about, about you. Mm. Yeah. Then there was the cockroaches. See the big cockroach on the front of the book? No, That's the cockroach right there. Oh. The cockroaches would come out at night. Mm. Eight o'clock at night we're locked in our cells. Mm. Ten o'clock is what's called lights out. Mm. The cockroaches line up in the cracks in the walls. Yeah. As soon as the lights go out, the cockroaches flood the room. Yeah. And you've got a choice, you can wrap a sheet around you to keep them off you. Mm. It does keep them off you, but it traps the desert heat to your body and makes the skin infections and bed sores worse. You end up throwing the sheet off you and letting them crawl on you. Mm. Now they don't bite. They start out tickling your feet, your limbs. Mm. They go in your ears and try and eat your earwax, the cockroaches. Oh, it's like honey to them. Yeah. I had a neighbour who was asthmatic, mm. he wakes up one morning, you know asthmatics have inhalers, yeah, he's out of breath, grabs his inhaler, takes a blast, mm. there's a cockroach in it, oh. it's stuck inside him, oh. it's wriggling around and he can feel it mm. and he throws up his breakfast mm. and he can't get the cockroach out because it's stuck inside him. Oh dear. Yeah? Mm. So every night these cockroaches came out. That, I ended up having a nervous breakdown. I was seeing imaginary cockroaches. I couldn't get to sleep with them crawling on me. Mm. I was hearing voices and they had to put me on medication so I could get to sleep. Mm. Yeah. So all these conditions were actually illegal and all this stuff is in the book. It's just got published in America this week and I'm hoping that it's going to cause outrage amongst the American public so that these conditions will get changed for the prisoners in there. Mm. It's not right, is it? No, no. Do you think cockroaches dead rats in the food, so hot that your skin's coming off when you scratch yourself. Mm. That's not right, is it, for prisoners? They shouldn't be allowed to ha have conditions like that. No, it should, it should be like a palace. Like a palace? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, Brenda. I think it, I think it should be um, the humane treatment of prisoners. Mm. Give them education and rehabilitation, but it shouldn't be too, it shouldn't be like a palace. Because then, then perhaps they would go out and do more crimes if it was, if it was too easy for them, don't you think? <laughs> if you were running the jail, you'd have it like a palace. <laughs> oh dear, well the best get going now anyway.